Hey there, and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today I wanted to talk about Foodheim, a culinary adventure. This is by Eric Wareheim. He, if you've never heard of him, is a part of the Tim and Eric awesome show thing. He's a comedian, actor, all kinds of stuff. He's done a lot of stuff, and now he's done a cookbook. So I'm looking forward to this, and it surprised me. It is beautiful, sophisticated, elegant, all kinds of things that... Yeah, it's awesome. So, let's look into this. And it's dorky, of course, it has to be, right? So, wonderful. All right, so we've got, in here, we've got Circle Foods is the first one. Uh, pizza, which has this whole other section because apparently it's the ultimate Circle Food. Then we've got Grandma Foods Chicken Chapter. Then we've got Juicy Foods Green Foods small horse chapter i'm okay i have to find out what that means and then we've got weinheim and finally cocktails this is beautiful it's vibrantly colored this whole cookbook is just wild and crazy so here's him little baby in the kitchen so okay the overall you're, you're gonna laugh like the whole cookbook is hilarious and wonderful but you know we've got the, it's actually quite useful. So we've got Eric's Essentials, different ingredients, and they're very unique, like incredibly unique. So um, I really appreciate that. We have equipment that you might want to use. That includes like, you know, a kitchen scale, a Dutch oven, a dough scraper, candy thermometer, all kinds of stuff. So we will start with Circle Foods. And that encompasses so many things, as you know. Lots of things are very circular. Cookies, pizza, taco, like the the tortilla. So lots of cool stuff. So, Smashheim. Oh my goodness, these are like tiny little burgers. Oh, this looks so good. So we have just kind of like regular summary of smash time then we have your directions and then at the very edge here are all of the ingredients that are necessary to make each thing so let's find some other cool stuff in here Ooh, okay so um so for the pork dork we i mean this is like a different kind of sandwich we've got all of the ingredients and directions here but in addition there are um he has created his own katsu sauce directions here, so that's very nice. We have a fish freak with fancy sauce. Oh my goodness, what what is happening here? <laughs> it looks like it's on a candle. I love this so much, it's ridiculous. So we've got even ingredients for fancy sauce right here. And I'm looking at it because now I want to make it myself. And these are very straightforward, very easy, approachable recipes. These are great for parties. Pizza, super dorky and hilarious. And yeah, there's so much, there's so much, he must love pizza, there's so much pizza. Um, so that includes like your own sauces, variations on pizza dough. Uh, we've got like pickled things you could put on your pizzas. And then he goes into kind of his pizzas. So Queen Maddie's potato pie. This almost looks like a, uh, what is that called? Like an au gratin on a pizza. It looks like that. I don't think that's what it is, but it looks, it looks really good. Very indulgent. Oh man, this is not for people looking for healthy food. That's fine. Uh, caper berry pie. Papa Picante. Oh man. This is great. My husband would die. He would love this. So that's all pizza. So let's move on to some other stuff, though. Uh, we have grandma foods. This is cute. Um, I am digging it. And I like that he basically is like, when he thinks of grandma, he's thinking like his mom, like literal grandmas, his mom's ma, his oma who lived in Germany. And there's so many amazing things that came out of his, you know, his grandma's kitchen. And I love that this is like an homage to her. So we've got a Nana sauce that you can put on all kinds of stuff. We have a Cacio e Pepe and Parm bowls. See, and these are like amazing, uh, like fried Parmesan. And oh, this looks so good. I'm getting so hungry. Um, 
We've got a Bavarian Maeg Maega roll. <laughs> this is really cute. Uh, this is fantastic. I love this. It's almost like a scotch egg a bit. Um, we've got, here's your naughty and your nice meatball variations. Um, so we've got cream balls and pulpette. I've not heard of that before. So a whole chicken chapter. Naughty and nice. Okay, these are awesome. So we've got naughty and nice fried chicken. This is fun. I love it so much. Chicken parmesan. I feel like this cookbook has all of the foods that we all want to indulge on all the time, but we, we're all, at least I am, I'm always like, am I going to gain weight or something? But I, I love this. This is fantastic. So good. Um, lamb kebabs and, but it's beautiful too. Like these, these recipes are fan, like they're gorgeous. So it's not just totally indulgent Americanized foods. Like there's a lot of elegance to a lot of his dishes. This is a grapefruit sashimi. Um, yeah, it, I, I'm just very, very surprised, pleasantly surprised with how many kinds of recipes are through, like throughout this cookbook. And just fun little tidbits here and there. We've got like a menu and shopping list for a raclette party. I've never heard of that before, but now I'm incredibly curious what that what that entails. This looks very some. This is something that I would probably actually do. Um. Then we have like your green stuff. So this is a crudite extreme with dill dill dipper. Yum. Rays of heaven. This is beautiful. Um, these are all tomatoes and peaches, a meat salad, <laughs> um, but it's obviously got figs. I think it has cantaloupe or melon. Yeah, it's cantaloupe. So these are very different, unique recipes. Um, this is very simple, uh, Opa salad, very simple salad recipe, but it looks, I mean, do salads need to be super complicated? No. Uh, toasted bread salad. And this is interesting that this is actually illustrated instead of a photo. Um, Life-saving smoothie. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool things in this cookbook. Um, we even have regions of wine and why culture. Many people are intimidated by wine culture. Yes, that's true. But if, if, yeah, if Eric can do it, we can do it. Here's different regions for wine. This is a very interesting, all-encompassing cookbook that kind of, you learn more about Eric Wareheim and, you know, just fun, cool stuff all throughout. Let's see if I can find, let me find you guys, like, one cocktail at least. But there's even tips on, like, how to, sh like, how to make a crazy shrimp cocktail like this, how to shuck oysters. There's just all kinds of random things in here that are really great. Um, very basic cocktails throughout. Beautiful martini photo. I saw a Negroni in here too, but this one's fun. A corpse retriever number two. Simple, elegant, very cool. Um, I could probably talk about this all day. This is actually quite an involved cookbook. There's a lot of recipes in here, a lot of interesting tips, just a lot of fun information about cooking and food and his life and all around. This is amazing. This is actually an adventure. I actually feel like this is a culinary adventure. And if you're somebody that enjoys that kind of thing, this is something you should check out. It's dorky. It's fun. It's yeah, this makes cooking like less pretentious than it needs to be, but still quite elegant and sophisticated. So definitely check out Foodheim at Culinary Adventure by Eric Wareheim. If you guys want more cookbook content, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and our website at Cookbook Divas. Make sure to leave a review and comment down below. We would love to hear from you and see how we're doing. If you want to hear about like brand new cookbooks coming out every week, join us on our podcast at Cookbook Divas. We try to do weekly roundups every Friday. So we look forward to seeing you on all of our other platforms. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful week.